say something, but I feel like you're gonna use it in those little trailers. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, <laughs> not me. Of the FME DJs, who did you date? I heard you was with Pete. Really? So that's that's not true. I've never been in a relationship with him. Hold on, hold on a second. I'm gonna call Pete. My God. He's probably wondering why you're calling him on this time. What inspires me is the journey of self-discovery and the possibilities and and the endless opportunities and possibilities that I know are ahead of me. Have you ever been cheated on? <laughs> Definitely not by Pete. <laughs> Single or date? Single or date? <laughs> <clears throat> To the B-Dub Africa, the rest of the world. What's going on? And welcome to another episode of the Juice 2.0. I appreciate you so much for tuning in. You appreciate the bottom of my heart, deep down somewhere in my bones. You could have been anywhere, somewhere, somewhere in the world doing God knows what. I, I don't even want to know what it could be, but you're here with me and I'm so grateful. And this is the second episode of the new year 2024. And, and, and as of today, y'all got a, hey, hey man. As of today, 20,000 subscribers. I'm the only one? No? Very tough crowd. <laughs> Very tough crowd. <laughs> but thank you so much, man. As of today, Friday the 26th. Yeah, 20,000 subscribers. And it's really just because of you. I appreciate you so much. Returning subscriber, you're part of the family. If you haven't subscribed, do the right thing, man. Let the family grow. And today... We're broadcasting all the way from Icon Barbershop, right here in APJ, opposite F and B, and right next to the casino. You want to feel fresh? I just got my hair cut, and let's just talk about this for a second. This was impromptu, like super sudden, super impulse. Just like you know what? Let me cut this. There's no hair, and we're gonna. You let me know how it feels, uh, how it looks. I know how it feels, but 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 that's where it is. You come over here, get clean, get fresh. You will not regret it. Big shout out going out to my sponsors, Lube Plus, for all your car engine lubrication and your machinery lubrications. Hit up Lube Plus. All right, I know it's lube, but it's, it's the kind of, the good kind of, <laughs> good kind of lube. One last sponsor, and I got to give it out to them. A big shout out going out to my sponsors, Expert Express. What's going on? For all the deliveries, collections, all your gifts, it's Valentine in a very, very few uh, weeks. South Africa, Namibia, Zambia, Botswana for all your deliveries and collections. Hit up Expert Express. All right, without further ado, it's getting juicy in just a few seconds because I brought you somebody that is just super amazing. She's a digital content creator. She's a brand influencer. She's a makeup artist. I just heard about this today. Makeup artist. She's also a... Uh, what is it? 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 I say brand influencer, content creator, uh, sheesh, makeup artist, um, entrepreneur. Yeah, she's a businesswoman or she's the businesswoman. But I need you to put your hands together for what is about to be an amazing conversation with one of B-Dub's finest. Finest. Michelle Kalank is in the building. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hi, TK. What's up, ma? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Highly blessed and favored. Yeah. Ooh. Highly blessed and favored. Oh, that's dope. Is that how you, like, answer every question? How are you? How are you? I'm mm -hmm. highly blessed and favored. Oh, that's dope. When did this start in your life? Like, that consciousness about, you know, being highly blessed and favored? I think this year. Oh. Yeah. Dope. Thank you. And Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year, TK. How's the, how's the year started so far? It's been great. Yeah. Yeah. It's been really amazing. Uh, I always make a mistake of having people compare like last year and this year. Uh, if you had to just quickly compare how 2023 was to just like a month of January. Yeah. Do you have like good predictions going into 2024? Yeah. I yeah. think 2024 is going to be an amazing month. Yeah. And I'm saying this based of what 
I've experienced just this month alone. Oh, nice. It's been a good month. The Juice 2.0, huh? Yeah. Oh, apart from the Juice 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, apart from that, there have been really amazing things happening. So, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm so I'm glad that you're forward. here. I'm so glad that you're here, man, uh, for honoring the invite, by the way. It's a lot of people that I reach out to that I yeah. feel that's what I need to hear from. But as soon as I, I do that, they're like, mm, mm-hmm. mm. yeah, you know, you're one of those people I thought, I'm just going to shoot my shot. But she will probably say, TK, I appreciate you, my brother. You but. know what? But <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm sorry. We can't do it. Yeah. Why did you say yes to come into the G2.0? Um, I thought, let me just get out of my comfort zone. Right. Yeah. I think that's the main reason. Apart from that, I think it's it's a platform for me to be able to grow my brand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about your brand. But let's first of all get some icebreakers, right? Okay. I call this <laughs> quick association. The quickest way to know a person in just a few seconds, yeah? You okay. ready? Yeah. Coffee or tea? Tea. Oh. What brand are we talking about? Are we like a Roy Boss? Are we like a Five um, Roses? Shout tea. out to the brands, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer green tea. Ah. Yeah. Clean. Dope. Chicken or beef? Chicken. Clean. Huh? All right. Uh, big car or small car? Big car. Mm, okay. I love big cars. All right. Okay. Home workout or gym workout? Um, home workout. Yeah? Yeah. Is that happening right now? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I'm not consistent with it, but I yeah. try. When was the last time you hit up a home workout? Probably two weeks ago. Oh. But I do want to start going to the gym soon. Okay. I guess I guess with the whole workout thing, if you're eating right, then you don't feel like you're, you're missing out on a lot of workouts, right? Yeah. Are you a clean person when it comes to your food? Sometimes. Yeah. I'd like to eat healthy. Oh, yeah. All the time, but I do try. Yeah. All right. I feel that. Driving to my own or flying to my own? Driving to my own. Yeah? Yeah. Has that happened? Mm-hmm. Before? So, December, Gab City or B-Dub in its generality just loves my own. Yeah. Are you part of the fold or you're just like, nah, maybe let's try Kasane. You know, maybe let's do other places. A little bit of both. hmm Yeah. When was the last time you were in my own? Uh, last year. <sighs> yeah, that's super close. Super. Is that when you, did you do my own then Victoria Falls or Victoria Falls was No, no, before? Vic Falls was, I think 2016 or 17. Uh, it's been a minute. Yeah. I bet. Uh, so, BDP or UDC, okay, mm-hmm. let's start. <laughs> <laughs> let's not even go there. <laughs> Please. <laughs> My bad. I hope we're not talking politics. No, 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 no. no. It was literally a joke. Check okay. out. Check out. You see? Yeah. Literally scripted jokes. Like, and it hit what I wanted it to hit. It was like, <laughs> no, no, no. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's not even go there. Long distance relationship or not? No. Yeah? What, what are we concerned about, Michelle? What are we concerned about? Mm-hmm. I prefer having my partner here with me. Okay. Yeah. I mean, long distance does work if both parties are putting in the effort nah. to make it work. No? Nah. Why? Nah. Why, do you, why, why do you say that? In 2024? Yeah. Uh, you don't think it works? I don't think so. I mean, there are people doing it. It's working very well for them. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, it's actually working and not knowing that if it's working, it's because nobody's is not doing anything because you really can't see, right? Yeah. That's just what I think. But I guess let me not be a pessimist <laughs> and say it, it works. Um, wig or weave? A wig. A wig. Yeah. All right. What's the most expensive wig you, you bought or got and bought for? I wouldn't know. Yeah? What does that mean? I don't know. Wait, what does that actually mean? It means I don't know. <laughs> you don't know how much the yeah. most expensive wig you ever bought was? No, what does that mean? Guys, am I, what does that mean? I've never had to buy a wig myself. Jehovah, you are Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this is your life. 
What do you mean this is my life? Who is buying you wigs? Let's just keep it at I've never had to buy a wig myself. Soft. Right? Next. Very soft. <laughs> Hey, yo, ladies, quick second. You know what? Your life needs to change, ladies. Huh? I know you're struggling, ladies, but pray harder. It's 2024. <laughs> this is somebody's life. Oh, sorry, I need to get my shades back on because apparently I look cooler like this. What was that? Miami rich folk or Nigerian? Okay. Damn, girl. How does that feel? Feels good? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you could really say that you feel as a woman, you've really lived like a woman because I believe in providing for a woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. I believe a woman shouldn't have to ever do anything. If we could, she sits at home, we do everything for y'all. Mm -hmm. You know? You believe in that too? Yeah. To an extent. To an extent, not okay. fully. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of work here and there, but 100%... You know, provision should be from a man. I mean, not 100%. Yeah. But I do feel like a man should provide. Yeah. Where he can. Damn, you've never had to... Anyway, let's move right on. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably going to circle back to it, but it's an older boyfriend or same age boyfriend? Older. Older. Girls or boys? Relationship, dating. Boys. Boys. Yeah. We had to find out. <laughs> Katy Perry, I kissed a girl. Uh, hot tub or swimming pool? Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Yeah. Single or dating? Single or dating? <laughs> <laughs> right now? Yep. Yeah. I prefer not to answer. Michelle, come on. You'd... I prefer not to answer. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to call me. But we already know though. Mug and bean or what cappuccino. What do you mean you we, already we know? We already know. <laughs> we, we already know. Let's move right along. Main deck or Ioba? Ioba. Ioba. Oh, that conversation we had earlier on. Yeah. Hansi or Khoisan? Both. Both. Yeah. I might have a pass on that because you can't really do that. But I need to exhaust this quick acquaintance one. Makeup or no makeup? Both. Both? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Zanzibar or Maldives? Um, hmm. Maldives. Maldives. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you get to catch a little bit of what she is. The other parts we're coming back at, you know, because it's, it's some parts that we got to We have to. Your birthday is coming up in March? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. You excited? Well, you know that. Okay. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I have to do my research, right? Yeah. March, what does that make you? Um, uh, you're not a Pisces. I am. You're a Pisces? Mm -hmm. Ah, if you're drinking on this podcast, we would Because uh, I'm a Pisces too. Really? Yeah. When's your birthday? I'm a Fab 20. Okay. Yeah, so that's coming up next month. Pisces, huh? What a sign. Yeah. Hey. Nice. Hey. <laughs> they, they be wondering why we got this perfect skin though, right? <laughs> what, is such a, what is such a Pisces thing that you feel shocks I'm such a Pisces? Hmm. I'm loyal. Loyal? Yeah. Oh, I nice. think majority of um, Pisces are loyal. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. Um, <clears throat> loyalty in a relationship or just like that's <laughs> across? In different aspects. Okay. Yeah. I like that about you. It's not a lot of people that are as good looking and can stay loyal because it feels like sometimes, you correct me if I'm wrong, right? It feels like with most ladies nowadays, if you're good looking, then you're almost like on a highest bidder type of thing. Right? Yeah. Which means you're not staying with one person who is trying to do this, trying to do that. But you're just like, if it's a weekend, right? Mm -hmm. If Tom is calling, Tom has maybe the biggest bag right now. Let's roll with Tom. Yeah. If Cosi calls next weekend and he's got the bag... You know, mm -hmm. do you agree with that or is that something that you feel is happening or you disagree? It's definitely something that's happening. Yeah. I think that's quite no. That there are people that yeah. think like that. Right. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, has that ever happened to any of your friends around? And you've had to sit them down like, yo, look at my life. I'm loyal and things are working. You could try to do this, right? Or no? I've had you can a throw few. Your, you, you can throw your friends at <laughs> <and> them. <laughs> I've had a few conversations with people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wouldn't necessarily say my friends, but right. a few people. Few people. What would you say? I'm interested in this. What would you say? That's between them and I. Come on. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Do they listen to you after? Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, people can only take so much from you. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's their decision. True. True. So we had to ask a few of your friends <clears throat> or your followers or fans, whatever you call Also, do you have a name for people that love you? Fans, followers, Instagram, social media? No. No? No. You never played around with any any word? or Mm-mm. Okay. Anyway, so these people have a few questions to ask, right? Okay. And unlike to me, if you feel like you can't really talk to me about it, at least you can talk to these people, right? <laughs> <laughs> these mm-hmm. are your people. These are your people. So let's first uh, start with hashtag Natasha underscore Galanke. Is this your sister? Yeah. Your biological sister? Yeah. Oh, Okay. So your sister, shout out to you, Natasha. How you doing? <laughs> what inspires you and what do you want out of life? What inspires me? Um, I would say that what inspires me is the journey of self-discovery right. and the possibilities and, and the endless opportunities and possibilities that I know are ahead of me. Ooh. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. And then uh, what do you want out of life? Hmm. I want to create meaningful experiences, genuine connections. Yeah. And I just want a high quality life, which right. encompasses all of that. Oh, yeah. You've been on that high quality life. You ain't even bought a wig. Ever in your TK. life. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> <laughs> While we're on that, actually, guys, please um, go follow Tasha's Tresses on Instagram. Tasha's who? Tresses. So you're going to do this on my podcast like they paid for this? Tasha's, I need my money. I'm, <laughs> I'm invoicing right, right after this show. Yeah. So it's probably a reference to like your brand um, influencing and all of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or it could be just a man who's been providing for you forever in your life. Could be both, but we'll come back to it. Let's check out your few, a few more. <laughs> <laughs> so, big shout out going out to Yaone Dot Ramala. If I pronounce your word, your names incorrectly, please uh, forgive me. Yaone says, "Are you single?" No comment. No comment. No comment. So, tell me about this. The question about being single or not, right? Yeah. As a person who has a brand, as Michelle. Mm -hmm. Right? What really prompts you to not answer that kind of question? I want to get the psychological aspect of it. Because a lot of people uh, sham on it like, yo. Yeah. It's just a conversation, right? Like, why is it so hard to tell people that you're seeing somebody or you're not? So can I just appreciate why it would be not preferable for you to answer that kind of question? I feel like I like keeping certain parts of my life private. Yep. And... That's something that I don't necessarily want to put out. Right. Yeah. If I'm single and you know that's fine. If I'm in a relationship and you know that's fine. But I prefer to keep it private. All right. Yeah. But I guess you've been failing a little bit on that. Because the people know who you've been with. (laughs) TK. (laughs) I'm going to find this person. When I saw this question, I was like, oh, Jehovah, you know what? You have blessed me with a lot of things in my life. Mm -hmm. But the juices, all the juices will come for me, man. (laughs) You know, they'll pull up for me and they will help a brother. So this person, where is it? Uh, Just a second. Uh, Yes. (sighs) Shout out to you, Zan underscore Dile. I guess your full name is Zan Dile. Zan Dile wants to know, of the FME DJs, who did you date? If I've never been in any relationship with you, then I don't think I can say we've ever been together or I've dated you. 
So it's not just towards this question, but just in general. Hey, yo. <laughs> what? So you've never been in a relationship with any of the FME DJs? No. At all? No. I heard you was with Pete. Really? Hmm. Is that what the streets are saying? That's what the streets are saying. I heard you were with Pete from FME DJs. So that's, that's not true. I've never been in a relationship with him. Hold on. Hold on a second. Just a second. I'm going to call Pete. Sure. Let's find out. Let's do it. What Pete has to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no mask on prepay center on my loudspeaker. Your balance <laughs> is, is insufficient. Ah, thank you, Jace. If you've been lying to... Also, he's probably gigging right now. Oh, my God. He's probably wondering why you're calling him at this time. At six minutes to nine? Mm-hmm. Because why? <laughs> <laughs> he's not picking up. Let me call the bond. <laughs> Calling the bond. We must find out today. Calling the bond. You're very comfortable and just like sure about the story, huh? Yo. My man, the bond. Yo, chill. What up, is TK? What's up? Bro, I'm recording a podcast right now. Yo. With Michelle. Michelle Kalanke. Oh, yeah. She says she's never been with Pete. Never been in a relationship? In a relationship with, with Pete. I don't know about this. For real? <laughs> if, if, I don't know. Yeah? I'm not aware of this. It's not like, you know, that happens. She's cool people to us, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, you're not gigging tonight? Uh, I'm just, I'm just chilling. Also, when are you coming to my podcast, bro? Stop running, man. What am I running? <laughs> my airtime ran out. I gotta call him back. So he doesn't know anything about that. So okay, maybe not a relationship. Did you mess with Pete before? <laughs> you see that right there? <laughs> Hey, yo. <laughs> I saw something right there. What did you see? I saw a little bit of reflection, you know? Like <laughs> what? A, a reflection, a reflection, and then... I'm laughing at the question you're asking me. Oh. Yeah. So never messed up. Bro, I could tell you right now, mm -hmm. it's people that came to me and they say, Pete and Michelle had a relationship. Or whatever it is. Clearly, it's not a relationship. It was something else. Okay. Until, apparently, Pete uh, cheated on you. <laughs> apparently. Yeah. All right. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. <laughs> but I know what's happening right now. <laughs> what's happening? I know what's happening right now. You're definitely protecting something or somebody. What do you think I'm protecting? Number one, the brand. Number two, you probably don't want that past bit of your life out there like that. Because it's not a lot of people that know about it. And, you know, you'd rather keep it that way. Because Pete is going to come to my podcast. That's and if fine. he ever says anything different. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. All right, let's move on. More Instagram people. Mm -hmm. Right. TJ underscore Taps wants to know, what's the best advice for someone who wants to get into brand influencing? Okay. Um, I'd start off by saying create a personal brand and do this by creating a social media presence. Mm. Um, create a social media presence that is authentic and that reflects who you are and what you stand for. Dope. Yeah. Secondly, <clears throat> create content that is of high quality and make sure that it's engaging to your audience. Right. Lastly, um, be patient, be consistent. It's not easy. It doesn't happen overnight. Right. And just try to build 
a network and collaborate with as many people as you can within the industry, be it photographers, models, yeah. influencers, whatever. How long did it take you uh, to grasp that in your life as an influencer for you to just so easily? Because it was very smooth the way you gave that kind of advice, just three steps. But I'm wondering, like, how long did it take you to fully grasp it mm -hmm. so that it becomes as easy today to, to give it out like that? When did it happen? Yeah, just like, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think around 20... 19, 2020? Mm. Yeah. Fairly, fairly fresh. Mm -hmm. But 20, 2019 is almost five years ago. Yeah. Sheesh. Where's time going, dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's time do? Okay, more, more. Because we got plenty and we got to run it up real quick. Okay. We got so much more important things to discuss. Brand ambassadorship, uh, church, family, education, all of that. Okay. But I got to finish these first. The underscore activist wants to know, have you been, have you ever been cheated on? <laughs> Definitely not by Pete. <laughs> TK. Um, yeah. You have. Mm -hmm. Whoa. All right, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah. Dad, is people out there cheating on people like you? Mm -hmm. There's no balance, though. Whether you're pretty or not. You get cheated on. I mean... Well, not me specifically. Yeah, but right. Generally. Yeah. Beyonce, right? Jay-Z, dog. It's like, well, Sasha Fierce, bro? <laughs> you're not scared of Sasha Fierce, bro? Might come out anytime. Dag, how'd you feel when it happened? Hurt? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're, you're a Pisces. You're a loyal person. Mm. Dag. Mm -hmm. How'd you find out? Yeah. <sighs> Um, Sorry to bring back the, the <laughs> right. I, how did I find out? Mm -hmm. Oh, TK. I'd rather not say. Ah, Michelle, <laughs> come. Michelle, dog. You're killing TK. me here. <laughs> We're trying to have a conversation. Don't protect these people. They don't, they don't matter, actually. I mean, they cheated on you, innit? They don't matter. <laughs> Look at you trying to get me to, <laughs> to speak. <laughs> Was it through the phone? Did you go through the phone? Or your girls told you? It could be one These of those. These things you just... You just always know. Okay. Yeah. So you broke have up... You, have you ever heard of this thing where... Well, people say if you don't go through a guy's phone, you'll dream about it. Yeah, I've have heard Have you ever heard about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, such things happen. Do you go through your boyfriend's phone? Do I? Mm -hmm. No. You don't, yeah? Does it go through your phone right now? Did I say I'm in a relationship? Oh, today? snap. <laughs> <laughs> you know you are. <laughs> okay. Simply. What's up? Shout out. Thank you for taking the time. What's the first worst date you've ever been on? Hmm. It was a couple of years back. Mm -hmm. Went on a date. Well, the guy invited me for a date. And he's like, nah, don't worry. I got it. I'll pay. Yeah, when we went, well, the date was fine and stuff, right? right? But at the end of the day, it seemed like I had to pay. I mean, I didn't have a problem with it. I don't mind, but that's what you had said you would do. Stick right. to your word. Right. You know, so yeah, it just dropped me off the wrong way. Not that I have a problem with paying. Of course, yeah. But, you know, from the get-go, this is what you said and you're not sticking to Also, it. it's a first date. First date? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> That's a misrepresentation. <laughs> it's a misrepresentation of who we are, you know? And was there a second date? No. No. Oh. That was it. Yeah. I mean, if you can't stick to your word with that one thing, how am I certain that you're going to stick to your word with right. other things? Right. Yeah. Is this the kind of person you are generally? Like, words mean a lot to you. Yeah. That's if you crazy. say something, stand on it. Oh, yeah. Stand on business. <laughs> well, I'm trying to stand on business right now, but you're killing me, man. Because I did say I was going to go crazy with you, but you're killing me. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Emperor.k, shout out to you. I appreciate it for taking the time. Says, do you have 10 bodies? Do you have 10 bodies? No. Hmm? Mm -mm. You don't? 
No. Oh, with this question, you gotta be very loud so that they know. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so if B Dub TikTok is gonna come in, it's like, wait, wait, why she hesitate? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they be doing that all the time. So no ten bodies. Emperor, you crazy for that, by the way. Mm -hmm. But we love you. <laughs> How many bodies you got? Next question. Next question. All right. It doesn't hurt to try. Riatile Yolanda underscore says, your three favorite content creators in B-Dub and South Africa. Hmm. Botswana. Apart from me. <laughs> okay. Um, Marang Silolwani. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Shout out, big sis. Yeah. Um, Bulling. Gold. Gold. Right. Shout out, shout out. And... Who else? Apparently, most of them are crawling. Shout out, the Tina Wiggins. are crawling. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? I did. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. I know nothing about baddies. Hey? Apparently, baddies are crawling. I know nothing about baddies. But do you think? Do you think that it's a few people out there that look at you and they feel like you're a baddie? I've heard so. You've heard that. Yeah. But you don't consider yourself a baddie. No. What is a baddie to you? I don't know. That's why I don't oh, yeah, even okay. consider myself okay. that. Hey, but Tina is wild, bro. She's like. She's There's probably no... speaking her truth. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not as, as he I was, said her <laughs> truth, not my truth. <laughs> her truth. That's that's a real definition of standing on business. What yeah. Tina did? Yeah. For sure. Okay, so we haven't gotten the third one. Um, to me, Tuta. Oh, to me. Yeah. Yeah. I love her. Uh, are you friends with Tumi? No. No? Okay. Cause I wanted you to, you know, put in a good word with Tumi for me for the podcast. Oh, no, we're not friends. Okay, no, that's cool. That's cool. And then South Africa. Pamela Mtanga. Who? Pamela Mtanga. Is she Zimbabwean? South African. Pamela Mutanga. Yeah. Can I? You can look her up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pamela Mutanga. She fine? She's beautiful. Hey, hey <laughs> brand management. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you these things? I'm a PR student, so that communicates strategic. Oh, we got to talk about that. Which school is this? UB? Mm -hmm. You went to UB? I go to UB. Currently going to UB. Yeah. So Pamela Mutanga, can we shoot her up? We got to start doing these, man. Yeah. Pamela Mutanga. Ooh, okay. She's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, 250. Nah. <laughs> I take back my words. What? She aight. <laughs> CK. <laughs> She's beautiful, man. I mean, you have, huh? It's the first time I'm hearing about Pamela, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Because every time you hear SA baddies or influencers, there's just a few names that come out. Yeah. Pamela is the first time I'm hearing about her. Okay, who's the second one? From the top of my head, that's the only person I can think of. Okay. Yeah. It's funny when that person, uh, the person who sent this question asked, I was like, you're definitely going to give us Michali. You're going to give us uh, people in that same caliber. Why is she not coming up? She, uh, she's not a favorite. Okay. She's a content creator, but not my favorite. Dope. Yeah. And you got choices, right? To each his own. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> She got the BBL though? Who? Michali? Do you know? No, I no? don't. You don't follow her like that? I do, but I, I can't say whether she has a BBL or not. I don't know. <laughs> PR students in the building, bro. <laughs> I tell you who some of your favorites too are, but maybe they're not content creators. She's a DJ, Zintle. Because I saw her bag mm -hmm. on social media oh, earlier. So then I saw your bag. Your picture with the bag similar to that picture. I was like, yeah, is this influence? Which, which picture? Uh, the picture with the bag, pink-ish, cream-ish bag that you posted. Today? Not today. It's been a, it's been okay. a short while, I think. Can't remember. Okay, I don't remember it. Yeah, but I saw the same bag and then Zintle today. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, maybe there's a little bit of influence here. Mm. Uh, do you? Is she one of your favorite people? DJ Zintle. Not my favorite, but I love her brand. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, they hear brand? No, or? the um, era by DJs and clip brand. Oh, dope. Yeah. What is your brand, dude? What's Is there a specific name or we're just still working with Michelle? Just Michelle Kalanke. Kalanke. Yeah. All right, let's finish up these, okay? We're almost done. We're almost. I gotta do it for my people. My juice is on Instagram. So the <coughs> underscore shawty underscore says, "Are you dating an older guy?" You see, these people be knowing things, though. I'm telling you, like, yo, shout out juices. These people be knowing <laughs> things, though. You know what, what I mean? What do they know, though? They be knowing things, though. Okay, that's cool. You don't. You never sleep up a little bit. Seen in public with this dude maybe several times. B dub will start assuming, and most of the time, the person you're seen mostly with, man, y'all smashing. Really? Or y'all influencing each other the right way, going to church together. No, yeah, really. That's what <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? Are you dating an older guy? I think he or she is not being specific because. Older could mean someone three years older. That's older. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. By that very definition. Yeah. Is he older? He's not my age. So, he's older. Bad. Yeah. So, there is somebody older. You just won't tell us if he's the one buying these wigs, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're coming around, girl. <laughs> Shout out, Michelle. I don't I'm say there's someone. <laughs> Can I, ask I a, can I ask a genuine question, though? Yeah. How did you think this episode was going to go? I was expecting the juicy questions. Oh, so we're right on track, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sort of? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, you always ask them, right? To, yeah. 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 All the time. Mm -hmm. and they deliver. Kushi underscore Mula says, How do you approach the brands that you're working with now? Or are you under an agency? Okay. I'm not signed to any agency. Yep. Um, I don't think I've ever had to approach a brand. In most cases, they email me or DM me. Yeah. Right. So that's my experience. But my advice would be to reach out to them. Right, right. Yeah. If you want to work with a certain brand, reach out to them. Don't wait for um, them to reach out to you if at all you want to work with them. For sure. You need to knock on doors. Yeah. yeah. Um, the brands that you've worked with, you've worked with a lot. Actually, let's finish this up. I have a tendency of doing that and then I get lost in the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, Riatile Yolanda is back, underscore. Shout out to you. Appreciate you. What do you love the most about being a creative? Um, it allows me to express myself. Right. In... Shout out BK Proctor. <laughs> ne? <laughs> express yourself. <Yeah. laughs> it allows me to just express myself in very different ways. And I think I love the freedom and the ability it just gives me to, to turn ideas into tangible um, creations. Oh, you're good. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Oh, uh, you you really, huh? <laughs> and you can feel it in your heart like, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm answering it. Have you ever tried beauty pageants? I actually joined Miss and Miss LKC in 2016. I heard you was at LKC. And I heard something happened at LKC the final year. What happened? I'm going to tell you. With the rugby dude. What? Apparently there was a rugby dude that was involved. Okay. But we'll <laughs> get there. <laughs> we'll get, so much to talk about, man. Not a lot of time. So, so. OG underscore Shonali. Great answers, by the way, about the the brand uh, thing. Yeah. What is your perspective on BW industry men? <laughs> and for BW, to all my followers, subscribers that are not in Botswana, BW means Botswana, right? Just to yeah. put it out there. What industry exactly? Ah, you know the industry. <laughs> my sister, don't do this PR thing too much, yeah? You know the industry. <laughs> so okay, it, you want to get me into trouble, hey? Nope. You got yourself in trouble coming here and sitting down. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, how are they, these industry men? I don't know. Uh, what do you mean, how are they? In, in what sense? Apparently, what's your perspective on the men? So, I'm simply just... In your... You know, yeah, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I I think they're cool people. That's all I have to say. Wow. For real? Yeah. You've had cool experiences with... I've had cool experiences with people in the industry just from chilling or talking to them, having interactions. I think they're pretty cool people. Well, the ones I've met right. have always been very nice. I don't think I've ever had a problem with any one of them. Name me three industry men that you call colleagues or you've had a conversation with. Just off of what you've just said, like the ones that you've chilled with, the ones that you've had conversations with. Can you yeah. name me three at all? I don't know if they want me to say their names. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Yeah. Industry man. Would you consider me an industry man? To some extent. Yeah? Yeah. Is it greater? Is it lesser? Is it what? Is it a greater extent or <laughs> it's, a, it's a lesser extent? Great extent. Greater extent. Yeah, so what's your perspective on me? <laughs> I have... Be easy. Go easy. All right. You protected everybody. <laughs> what do I have to say about you? Yeah. I have a lot to say. Oh. A lot. Like what? A lot to say. <laughs> like, like what? Do you want me to say it? On yeah, camera? for sure. No, no, I'm just playing. Um, I think you're a cool person. Um, okay. I wouldn't really say much since, you know, we're we getting really, to... Yeah, yeah, we're getting to know each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're almost done. Two more. Uh, <clears throat> Letty, what's up, Letty? Thank you so much. Where do you see yourself in seven years, Michelle? That's a question from Letty. Seven years. Also, why seven years? Do people put seven? It's or usually it, like five, like five or ten years. Seven? seven is a weird it's, number. Yeah, it's a weird yeah. number. But whatever. You know? That's fine. Um, living a good life. Yeah. Definitely living a good life. Great connections. Pardon? Great connections. Yeah. Quality life. High quality, quality life. High quality life. Most importantly. Yeah. I think in, in the next seven years... I see a Michelle that would have evolved, a Michelle that is thriving in all aspects of her life. Yeah. Right. Speaking of that, what is it now that you would call aspects of your life? There's school right now, yeah? There's brand influencing, mm-hmm. yeah? There's family, there's uh, the business side of everything. Yeah. There's your relationship, obviously, uh, with an older guy. Wow. Who may or may have been buying your wig since you guys started wow. seeing each other. Okay. <laughs> hey, I mean, you're not telling me anything, so okay. <laughs> my imagination can be as wild as possible. Anyway, I'm just Let messing. it run wild. Right, today. right. Um, but are those the aspects you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Is, um, am I leaving anything out? No. Not at all. Okay. All right. One last one, ne? Mm-hmm. Uh BW Celebrity Crush. Actually, last but not but not least, BW Celebrity Crush. I don't think I have any. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a lie. I'm telling you. That's I, a I, lie. <laughs> I don't think I have any. Have you ever had any? No. Because maybe currently now, I mean, if you're dating somebody who's buying all the wigs all the time, TK, your eyes are blinded. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot have any crush. Anyway, I'm just joking. I don't have. Ever in the past two? I, I don't think so. Yeah? No. Pete from FME? No. No, I bet. <laughs> oh, there's going to be a conversation. You thought you was, <laughs> oh, he's, he's coming. Habupate is the last one, right? Shout out to my brother. This guy is one of the most amazing saxophone players. Yes. Great musician on the keyboard as well. Yeah. Totally insanely talented. How many roses do you want next month, Valentine's? It's time to start planning. Roses got me feel like ooh, ooh, ooh. Make it a thousand. A thousand roses. Do you want them with like 200 pull up bills inside? Like mm-hmm. roll them? Uh, huh? Yeah. Has that happened to before? Hey, I want to do that thing, eh? just to do it. You should. I, I need to do it. Mm-hmm. Just. You should definitely do it. You know what I mean? I think it'll make, you know, it'll make uh, for a great, great day. That has happened? Has that happened? I've received roses. 
with the 200 pull-up bills? Mm-mm. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. When was the last time you got roses, dude? Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Michelle. Last year. Last year? Mm-hmm. Which month was this? Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. What had happened? You just received roses out of the blues? Was it to brighten your day? It was just a nice gesture. Dope. <clears throat> Dope. Roses, girl. All right. I love roses, Shane. Yeah? Yeah. So there's always a conversation around uh, love languages, right? What is yours? Obviously, apart from gifting, because the wigs, the roses, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> but what else? What is your love language? Words of affirmation. Dope. And physical touch. Hey, uh-uh. you have arrived to the juice now. <laughs> hey, hey, let's park here for a while. Hey? That's it. <laughs> physical touch? Can we talk about it? No. Why not? What? Okay, let's, let's, let's talk about it. Yeah, why is that your love language? Why do you imagine or why do you think at all that is, it makes part of your list? I want to say something, but I feel like you're going to use it in those little trailers. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Not me. This guy. <laughs> Shout out Tabs. He's just putting his... <laughs> I'm a... I'm a very touchy person. I could be chilling with my brother and all one is to like hold hand. Right. Or with anyone. Okay, not anyone. Right, but with the, those that are close to me. Yeah. I'll put my leg over you or just do something just so I feel like, okay, we're together. Mm. But mostly, I do that mostly you with family. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Your brother. Well, at the end of the day, physical touch is my love language. And I appreciate that. Yeah. I think it, look, it must be a love language for a lot of people, right? Yeah. That and a few other things. Physical touch? Girl, you joking. It, it's cloudy and it's raining and you want to hear words of affirmation? It's not happening, right? It is. Okay, you can have both. Right? Yeah. Words of affirmation and your leg over. Right? Shout out Mr. Easy. <laughs> leg over. Leg over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about where you're from, man. We're done with some of the crazy things. <sighs> Thank God. Ah, see? See? It's like, it's like we're done with this. But we're coming back. Anyway, tell me about where you're from. And by where you're from, I want to appreciate your home village, actually. Yeah. Because then that has a few things attached to it. Culture, you know, blah, blah, blah. Where are you from? I'm from Manana. Ah, nice. Yeah. So where is that exactly? (laughs) (laughs) It's about 45 minutes away from Gabs. Okay. Um, Not too far from Mankodi. I think most people know Mankodi. I know Mankodi, yeah. Yeah. That area. Amazing. So that makes you a what? A muhuruti. Oh! you probably like the third person I know that's that. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's not a lot of you, is there? No. No, it's yeah. A small village. Not so small, but yeah. Yeah. When was the last time? Christmas? You went there? Hmm. Probably 2020. 2020. I think so. It's been two. Girl, it's so close. Why is it taking you like that long to not? I'm usually here in, in gaps. <laughs> City girls are up. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Um, where did you grow up the most? In gaps. In gaps. Yeah. Okay, I want to appreciate your family too, you know. Uh, what makes part of your nuclear family? Who is in there? I already know Natasha. Mm-hmm. She's younger? Older. Oh, Natasha's older. Yeah. Dag. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, my parents, obviously. Right. And I have two older sisters and a younger brother. Your brother's also older? No. Younger. He's younger. Uh, parents both still alive? Yeah. Biological. Yeah. Oh, isn't that a blessing? It is. Man, how old is your dad? Late 50s. Late 50s. Mm. And your mama must be slightly younger than that. No, late 50s as well. But she looks young. She looks good. 
Who do you take after when it comes to the looks? Who do you look mostly like? Both of them. Oh. Yeah. It's wild. That's wild. Show me a picture <laughs> of your mama. Let me see. I'll show you after, the show, after, after this. Yeah? Yeah. Your phone? Where's your phone? It's there. Uh, so tell me about… So I think I always forget to ask my guests this question, right? And I'm glad that today I can be able to remember. Yeah. Your parents, are they strict parents? And as a girl child, right? Has that, has that, if it's so, has that helped you become who you are? My parents have always been strict. Yeah. But they've always allowed us to be free and just ourselves around them. Right. But in them being strict, I think they have created children that are centered. Yeah. Yeah. We... I'd say that them being strict has, it has done a lot. It has kept us away from a lot of things For that sure. are happening. For sure. Yeah. And it has also taught us a lot as right. the kids. Are you living with your parents right now? Yeah. Oh, dope. Do they allow you coming home after 1 a.m., 12 p.m., 12 midnight? Has that been a problem? Oh, it's been a problem. <laughs> now you think of protecting your parents. <laughs> How lovely it must be you, huh? being you, brother. I mean, my parents understand we're, we're young, we're growing up, we want to have fun. So like I said, they're strict, but they're not so strict on us. And I think as you get older as a parent, you you look at how responsible your child is. Right. And you are able to just kind of allow them to be themselves and just do them. Right. Yeah. So if I'm out, I'll communicate. That's the most important thing. Communication. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just so they're not worried. Have you ever slept out and came back the next day? Slept out at a friend's house. Yeah. yeah. Sleepover. Letting them know. Put your leg over. At a friend's house. At a friend's house. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and you communicated. So it never became a problem. Yeah? No. All right. Bet. I love your parents, by the way. What are their names? Are we able to do that? No. no? Okay. My parents, my dad's name is Joel. My mom's name is Shamiso. Okay. Two cool people, man. Shamiso doesn't drink alcohol. My dad drinks alcohol. Every time my dad and I get drunk, she's just so devastated. Trying to keep everything in control. Yeah. You know, it's like, at the end of the day, you wake up the next morning, you're like, oh my God, my mom, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, Dad. Right? Like, just being able to drink with your dad. Yeah, it's the most That's amazing cool. feeling actually. Because yeah. then he starts telling you about family, about what he expects of you, blah, yeah. blah, blah. It's a genuine, because I'm a firstborn okay. of, of uh, two brothers, right? Mm. So every time I see with him, it's like, okay, dog, let's really talk. This is how life is, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Do you do that with any of your parents? No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. My uh, parents don't drink. So. Oh, no, no, not the drinking part. Oh, what? thank goodness. <laughs> no, the, the talking and, you know, just… Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Right. Mm. When was the last time that happened? Do you remember? Any of your parents? Just like a heart-to-heart. Girl, you're growing up. You got to get married. It'll probably have to be somebody who can take care of you enough to get your wigs all the time. And We're not letting this one go. Wait, oh, you can't. <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it happens a lot. I have a lot of heartfelt conversations with my mom. With your mama. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad just probably delegates that to the moms, right? Because yeah. my dad d- used to do that too. Mm-hmm. Parents though. like They do that. But I mean, my dad does have conversations with me. But I right. think I have those conversations more with my mom. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they're more comfortable, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you guys can relate on so many… On so many things. So many levels. Yeah. All right. I also needed to know, man, of all your siblings, who is the favorite? <laughs> I don't think there's a favorite. Nah, Captain. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> there isn't any favorite. We've yeah. all been treated equally. Yeah. But do you treat your siblings equally? Yeah. I'd yeah. like to believe so. Oh, that's beautiful. That's three siblings, yeah? Yeah. Older and younger. Yeah. Oh, that's, you live a beautiful life. I'm telling you that. Because siblings, man, everybody in here knows. Like, if you have, like, a big family like that, it's, it's one person you're vibing more with, I think. Yeah. You know, than the other. And it doesn't mean that you hate everybody yeah. else. It's just, yeah. like, it's vibes. But which character trait do you feel as a whole, as Michelle, 
you took it from one of the parents and which parent is that? Like how loyal you are, how soft, I think you're a soft spoken person. Yeah. Um, I think you're quite nurtured. You're also quite, you know, you, you let me stop at some point. Okay, yeah. Please, uh, you know, I think you're also quite confident. I think you're also, okay, I'm out of words. <laughs> but yeah, well, where, where, where do you get all of that from? My mom. Your mama? Yeah. But I think the biggest character trait would be my strength. Ah. Yeah, I get it from my mom. But strength though, you prompted me to ask this question and I gotta ask it. Where have you actually determined that you are strong? Not from the first breakup, right? Yeah. Because... No. Yeah. But the way that I deal with things on a day-to-day basis. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if it's small. It doesn't matter if it's big. Just... Yeah. All right. I feel that. My man. <laughs> it's like... Hmm? <laughs> doesn't make sense. <laughs> So I think I think that's that's beautiful, man. Uh, and then, what character trait do you feel you tapped into your dad? Is there anything at all? I can't think of anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The name Michelle. Who named you that? Do you do you know? You know, funny enough, I asked him this. I think about two weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I was in the spirit. You definitely I, were. <laughs> I went forward. I. Was <laughs> I I don't know. They didn't really give me an answer. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. They probably forgot. But it's a beautiful name. I love it. It's a beautiful name. But you're not just Michelle, right? You're Michelle uh, Basitana. Yeah. Yeah. Kalanke. Yep. And nobody has said, (laughs) I'm coming to your house. (laughs) Why? For part two. Okay. We're recording your family this time around. All right. Put it out there. Welcome me with open arms. It's the juice two point. Who's gonna cook for us though? For me and the definitely crew. not me. You're not into that. No, I love cooking. So what's up with that? I'm just not cooking. Oh wait, are you good at it? Yeah. <laughs> Cap, because that was that was almost <laughs> like I'm not doing that because I am a great cook. Yeah. I love cook. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ever cook for your family and you, that happens all the time, yeah. possibly. Uh, I still a lot. Have, I still have to taste the food though, to really find out. I doubt you ever will. Ooh, Dex. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All right. So then, with the family, what are some of the things that you look back at, and it was such a family moment, and one, it could have given you strength. Number two, mm-hmm. it could have just been. Like a silly moment, but it gave you so much happiness. Yeah. Are there moments you can look back and maybe share with us right now? Hmm. I can't think of any. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why, but I I can't think of any. It happens. Uh, it happens because yeah. when you're in the moment, right? You're just soaked into it. Mm. Then you're out of it. But let's talk about school, man. So LKC, huh? Yeah. Yo, how was LKC? Shout out LKC. And <laughs> every student that's going out to LKC, we see you, we love you, we appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. I had so much fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any moments, fond memories? Like a story that broke out of LKC or something that just... No. What's the wildest thing you ever did in high school? Wildest thing? Mm-hmm. There's a lot. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can say. It's, it's a wild. high school, Michelle. No. Your parents don't even care anymore because you're way out of that. You made it to college. What's the wildest thing of that? As Michelle is killing me, yeah? <laughs> killing me hard. Bro. <laughs> Probably drinking at school. Oh. Yeah. How was that? It was fine. I mean, it was just the thing of let's go with the flow these people are doing and so let's do it as well. Right. Yeah. So it was you and a bunch of people. other friends. Mm-hmm. What'd you do? Where'd you get the liquor at? 
from the other students. Oh, they were selling it? TK. What? How many years is this ago? A year, two? No. A couple of years. A couple of years. It's in the past. Nobody's going to um, come at you for what happened in the past. Well, the other students had the drink and we yeah. all drank. Okay. Mm. Did you still have classes though? No. No. It was after classes, mm -hmm. after school. I bet you felt like it was really doing something wrong, huh? Yeah, at the I mean at the time it felt like such a great thing to do, but at the back of my mind, at the back of our minds, I'm pretty sure we all knew that it was wrong. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then did anything else like that in the same caliber happen at LKC? Not that I'm aware of. Have you ever bunked school though? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never. No? Ever smoked weed? No. Ever gotten laid in a classroom? No. Ever... Jesus. Ever had a crush on a teacher? No. You were dating in high school? Yeah? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this interview is about to end, right? <laughs> Maybe? I was. In high school? Yeah. Yeah. How was that though? Did you even, like high school dating, right? High school sweethearts. I feel like for a lot of people, they have the softest spot in your heart because that's when you are first engaging your heart. You know what I mean? Your feelings and all of that. Yeah. Like you could see them right now. You'd be like, hey, hey yo, what's going Definitely. on? Definitely. And you know, all those memories. It's not <clears> like every other Tom, Dick and Harry that you meet in life. It's like, ah, you broke my heart. Uh, yeah. you, blah, blah, blah. Right? But how was your relationship back in high school? Um... I wasn't in a relationship. Okay. What, what was it? Yeah, TK. Well, dating in, in high school was fine. Okay. I was young. Um, didn't really know what I was doing, but... Yeah, I think I'd just say it was fine. It was okay. Yeah. Looking back at it... Um, looking back at it, I think I'd say I was just a young person wanting to do what everyone else was doing. Ah. Mm. It, okay. it seemed cool. But we're not with the right heart intentions for it. Like yeah. love and... Okay. Yeah. Damn, you didn't love this guy, huh? It was just to make you feel cool. Damn. Yeah, whoever you are, my brother. Because if I bring him to the podcast right now, he will have a different story. <laughs> Would you know who it is? I do know who it is. Mm. Okay. I just don't want to say the name right now. Okay. They told me. That's fine. About LKC. So what you else, did it. What else did they tell you? Huh? What else did they tell you about LKC? About you at LKC? Nah, I'm not going to tell you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only going to ask them as questions because you want me to disclose, then it's me saying things, but not you. <laughs> huh? Okay. Yeah, but look, they. The person that told me about the LKC relationship, which was not a relationship according to you. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is going to be such a wild, wild episode. Bro. <laughs> so you were just doing it to f make yourself feel cool. Not really. Not to. F is that to feel cool? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't like this guy? Because <laughs> um, you could pick anyone, right? If it's for any other reason apart from love, liking someone. Like the mushy mushy feelings. Like you could pick literally anyone just so you are touched. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you liked him? I'm not sure. Dang. And this is why niggas kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. How long was it? This thing? A few months. A few months? Yeah. It was definitely more than five months. It was a few months. But more than five, right? Give or take. Give or take. 
No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you guys break up after a few months? It just wasn't working out. So you broke it up? Yeah. I was a, I was a teenager, TK. Um, I, understand. I understand. Yeah. So I should it be easy on you too. It wasn't anything serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be easy on you too. Mm. I get that. But I just don't agree with you when you say you're just doing it. Because... Nah. I mean, as a teenager, you want to experience things, right? Right, right. So for me, it was more of an, of an experience. Like, let's do this and see what ends. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What else happened after that? Did you get, ever get into another relationship at LKC? No. That was it. One relationship at LKC. Are you saying with someone from LKC or whilst I was at LKC? With someone at LKC. Oh, no. So then there was another school, right? That was involved. Another guy from another school when you were at LKC. Yeah. Uh, map. No. Nah, it was Map. <laughs> Why do you it say was... that? <laughs> Wait, where was he from? He schooled around. Rainbow? The school was in gaps. <laughs> This is five years ago. <laughs> Michelle, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like nobody has ever known anything about you at all. Now you're just like... I love it that way. But it's in the past. Yeah, that's fine. And people know, actually. It's okay, still. So what would you, what do you, what's the worst thing that could happen right now? I don't know. Exactly, what could Michelle. could possibly happen? Exactly. Like yeah. the worst thing from you talking about high school? Nah. You're a brand ambassador now. You're a baddie now. You're, <laughs> you're a brand influencer now. Mm -hmm. Them niggas back in high school don't care anymore. If they for do, sure. hey, the train is left. Because they can't buy wigs for free all the time. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they can. Wow. Or maybe they okay. can. Or maybe they can. But okay, you know what? We're joking, we're having fun, but yeah. did you enjoy high school? I did a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah, I always say if I could, I'd relive some of the moments from high school. Yeah. Yeah. Are you having that equally great moment in college right now? Absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk about college. You're in the University of Botswana, right? Yeah. You're studying PR and integrated communications. Oh, nice. Thank Which you. year are you now? Um, I'm about to finish. What year is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be done soon, TK. Very soon. What year is that, Michelle? Oh, you have a problem with the year too? Yeah. Why? I'd rather not say. It's a retake, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's no. an MD. It's no, an MD in there. <laughs> TK. <laughs> now you didn't tell your parents <laughs> like that other chick apparently <laughs> that you're graduating? Apparently. <laughs> and now it's not the story. You're on the juice two pointer. You can't do that because the parents be like, girl, what's that? <laughs> no, it's not that. No retakes, no FD. But you see, if you don't if you don't talk to me like my and it's gonna happen with the with the dad, girl. They I'm, about, I'm about to finish school. Okay. Yeah. How long is your program? Four years. So you're about to finish school. Yeah. So in the, you're in the fourth year. Maybe. Maybe. You know what, Michelle? I'm really trying to find, figure out, like, what is, what is it about? You like, wanted to get the juice out of me, ne? Not even the juice, because sometimes the juice is just like a genuine, open conversation about your life, mm -hmm. you know? You're just like... Like, cutting off, like, even the things that are not even damaging, you're like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Like, school, like, what year you are, you shouldn't I even feel like, talk. <laughs> I feel like saying what, what I'm studying is enough. Yeah, but I'm asking as a conversation. It's, it's a podcast conversation. It's not even an interview, you know? Mm -hmm. So, a podcast conversation, right? In yeah. my opinion, having done this for only two years is that it's really a conversation you can have out there. Yeah. Right? Con Contradistinguished to radio or TV. Mm -hmm. You can have a conversation off recording. The moment they say five, four, three, two, one, forget all of that because there's censorship. 
it's a lot of things you were saying there that can never make it here. Yeah. But podcasting is, we, we just chilling. I'm having a drink. You are not drinking because you don't drink. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, but I just prefer not to do it today. Right, right, right. Yeah. But yeah, so like, it's a conversation, girl. Like, anyway, all right, for whatever it's worth and whatever you're protecting about, you know, it's no retakes, no, no retakes, FD. No. no retakes, no FD. You just don't know, you just don't want people to know which yeah. year you are. Because what's, what's going to happen after that? Nothing, but certain things in my life, I prefer to just keep them to myself. Okay. So how old are you, though? Are you able to tell us that? No. No? If you know, you know. And if not... Yep. Um, yeah. Yep. Okay. So you graduate. What's the plan? What are you trying to do? What do you hope to do after graduation? Are you trying to do formal work or business and PR related consultancy, blah, blah, blah? Um, definitely something along those lines. Yeah. Yeah. But like you mentioned earlier, I'm an entrepreneur. So I don't really see myself working in an office eight to five. Yeah. I want to start businesses of my own. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything happening right now that's business related apart from brand influencing yeah i'm a makeup artist oh yeah let's talk about that yeah. when did that start um mid 2023 mid 20 oh last year yeah oh great did you do your makeup today yeah oh dope so guys do this for me um in the comment section is this makeup dope or dump All right so just just comment dope or dump Dope being top notch. She did amazing for her face. Dump being <laughs> girl, maybe. <laughs> maybe let's just stick to the PR things. You know what I mean? Do it for me, my juices. Do it for me. All right? Dope or dump. So yeah. me 2023. Um, one must go makeup edition. Okay. You or Maxine. <laughs> That's a hard one to answer. Um, TK, putting me on the spot. It's the Juice 2.0. You've been running away from this. <laughs> I think we're equally good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, she's a professional. Or maybe was. Right. Still is. I don't know. I know she doesn't do makeup anymore, but... She's oh, she doesn't, huh? Apparent, apparently. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. But she's been a professional for a while, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, do you get business already? You started last year. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Mostly corporate and bridal bookings. There you go. We're not. <laughs> hey, girls. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to makeup, man, you would agree that it's almost every other girl in B Dub's dream yeah. to do makeup. What do you make of that? The influx of, or how flooded rather, the industry is. I think everyone's trying to make money, TK. But um, the most important thing is whether you're doing it for the money mm -hmm. or whether you're doing it because it's a passion. Right. Yeah. Also, I think makeup artists have different techniques and applications. My makeup won't look the same as another makeup artist. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's dope. <clears throat> I want people to check you out for the makeup. So... We'll have a promotional, but I'll send you an invoice though, yeah? Can I do that? No. No? You can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. ka -ching. We'll, do a, we'll do a whole promo thing, do an ad, put it on the put it on the episode, which okay. is probably going to be like next week. So I'll invoice. But I don't think you will be the one paying though, which is great. Why do you, you say that? You won't feel it at all. Okay. So oh, would you, you say... be? Oh, would you? TK. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've exhausted the point. <laughs> but but going back to to uh, makeup, right? Yeah. So there's a company already that's registered. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you imagine doing this for five years going in? Yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Okay. 
Is yeah. that going to run concurrently with what you're doing in school right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Definitely. Craziest UB story? What is it? Craziest UB story? Yeah. Hmm. Craziest UB story. Does it involve Vegas? Definitely not. Definitely not? No. Oh, you've never had like a Vegas story? No. Never. You're not leaving, Michelle. And I'm good with that, hey? (laughs) You're perfect. perfect. Trust me. (laughs) Okay, so what is it? Crazy story. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything crazy I've ever done. I'm actually a good student, TK. I, I don't do any crazy things. Yeah. Go to school, attend my lessons, go right. back home. Right. Well, yeah. they, they did say you're chilled. You're pretty laid back. Yeah. You know? How do you get to school from Block 8? With the cab. With the cab. Uh, every day? Yeah. Hey, soft. Ah, Michelle. TK, it's just a mode Michelle. of transport. Michelle. Every day? How much you pay at the end of the month? Are you paying? Yeah. Okay, how much? <laughs> um. You don't know how much it is. <laughs> just like you make. <laughs> Shout out Michelle. I'm paying for my transport myself. I'm paying for my transport myself. Yeah, it's so about I'm, 900, I think. It's about how? 900. Every day per month? No, no, per month. Per month. Yeah. Yeah, so how much is it charging every day? So I that it, it multiplies. <laughs> Are you guys trying to do calculations? Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> nine, 900 divided by what? That's 30? 30 days, give or take. Also, you're not going to school every day. I, I do. You do? Yeah. Except for weekends. Yeah. Right? So let's take out maybe eight days. 30 minus eight. That's like 22. Oh. How much is it? All right. 900 bucks. How much is it? 45 a day. 45 a day. Okay. All right. That's how much you're paying, Michelle, okay? 45. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so cab, you go there, cab going back. Yeah. Why not combis? The cab is safer. Safer. Yeah. Okay, well, that's dope. Uh, so you pay that with the money you're getting from where? The makeup thing. Mm-hmm. But it started in 2023. School started <laughs> early on. So what are we saying? TK, my parents help where they can. Your parents are beautiful, man. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to your parents. On the real world. No shade at all. Yeah. Shout out to your parents. I think it's a marvelous thing to provide for your for your family and uh, your kids. Yeah. It's not an easy thing to do, but... It's not something every parent does. Right. right. Yeah. So, generally, UB has been great. You're about to graduate. Mm-hmm. Have you picked up what exactly you're going to do on graduation day? Because I would imagine it all the time. You know? Has that happened? On Is graduation day? Yeah, graduation or just like a graduation party. I haven't thought of it yet. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, so you still but far. But I know though. Oh, you still far. No. The I'm retakes. Not. <laughs> CK. <laughs> There'll definitely be a celebration. A photo shoot and a celebration. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably a new wig too. Like a blonde. Sure. Yeah, blonde. Have you ever done that? No. No, no, I haven't. Do you ever fantasize on a blonde? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. Never have I ever met a celebrity. In... UW? Just in life. Um, yeah, I have. You have? Who was it? Well, in BW. OB. Who, who was it? Hey, not me. I, I mean, come Obviously on. Obviously not. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're meeting today. <laughs> um, I'd say Vizo. Well, what? 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 Let's move along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I've met a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, apart from him, who else? Fenty. Right, right. Yeah. Do you do the YSO parties and stuff? I've attended one. 
Yeah. Nice Good culture. times, right? Yeah. Baddies Amazing. and stuff. It is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool kids. Cool yeah. kids. Right. I mean, you're LKC and... Anyway, um, <laughs> never have I ever pretended to be on the phone. I have. Yeah? What yeah. did happen? Trying to avoid someone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there were times where like, I'd walk and probably get some sort of anxiety and pretend to be on the phone. Oh, it yeah. used to happen, but not anymore. Okay. Yeah. Never have I ever partied the whole night. You have. Where was this? Where or when? Where? Various places. Yeah. Oh, several times? No. Okay. Just a few times. Just a few times. Was this in B-dub or outside the country? Here. Here. Yeah, where? Nah. Never have I ever made out in a public place. No. No? Not your style, yeah? You want it closed? Private. We're not going to get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever snooped through my boyfriend's phone. I have. Mm-mm. Tonda and lightning. Why would you do that? That was years back. So we'll, we are, we are blaming it on like maturity and age and... Yeah. Okay. Not to say it was right. Right. But it was a while. It was like years back. Is it the same person you had a dream that they're... And then you actually had to... No. Okay. What, what, what was that? Michelle, come on. You got to give me this. It's a long time ago. TK, if I say anything, like... One plus one is going to make two. <laughs> and we care? I do. Why? It's in the past, right? Yeah. And you guys broke up, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are they going to make a mix out of it, like a piano mix out of it and put vocals? Because then I would care if it's Pete. If you didn't go through Pete's phone. It's not Pete. No. Okay. Why did you do <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do it? My instinct was telling me to. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Whatever happened to respect? But then, dude, you were young also. Yeah. But apparently when you do that, right, you always find what you're looking for. I was about to say, I feel like in most cases when you do that, you really know what you're looking for and you're going to find exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. Because you won't just wake up and decide, I want to go through this person's phone. Yeah. Yeah. So do you advocate for that? Like, No. 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 So even if a young lady feels, I'm feeling some type of way, they shouldn't just do it. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. I feel you. You want to look in the camera and tell them? Don't do it, Cass. Don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's dangerous, isn't it? Super. Yeah. Um, never have I ever had a sneaky link. Mm-mm. No? I don't believe in that. Yeah? What is a sneaky link? <laughs> well, I think I'm the wrong person to answer because I've never had one. So You wouldn't... just answered now that... <laughs> Would you really have answered that way if you didn't know what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the right person to answer because I don't know what a, a sneaky link is. Or you just don't want people to know that you might have an idea what a sneaky link is. And that's bad for your brand to know things about life. Even if you haven't done that. TK. You know they're going to come for her, right? <laughs> Let's leave everything we're discussing here. Because, oh my God, Michelle. Okay, so no sneaky link. No. Okay. Cool. I'm just going to keep moving on. Never <laughs> never have I ever made art in a cinema. Mm-mm. Never ever. No. Oh, nice. Or not nice. nice. Are you but are you like a movie person? Yeah. Okay. Not so much, but I do watch movies here and there. Yeah. Lately the competition is always a movie and or a series, a series. right? Yeah. You're more serious? 
No, I think I'm more of a movie person. Than a series. Yeah. Okay. Best movie ever? Favorite movie? Hmm. Best movie. Mm-hmm. Maybe The Fault in Our Stars. I love like... Oof. That's a I love romance movies. Oh, that's a beautiful movie though. Yeah. But I'm also not really like a TV or a movie person. I don't really watch a lot of movies. So that's the one I can think of. But yeah. I've always loved it. What are you into uh, that's entertaining, that takes up a little bit of your time if you're not reading? Because I realize you're <clears> reading <throat> Michelle Obama's book or used to read it and you're done. Joyce Mayer. Yeah, uh, yeah. Joyce Mayer. Yeah. You're reading Joyce Mayer right now. The Michelle Obama book, did you read it? Uh, the Lights, the what? What is it? Ah, I forgot. The Light We Carry. Oh, no, we carry. no, I haven't started yet. You haven't started that one yet? Yeah. Okay, so you're reading a Joyce Meyer. Okay. Yeah. All right, but so. Apart from that, what do I do? I watch a lot of self growth and self development YouTube videos. Ah. Yeah. Dope. Who are your favorites apart from Joyce? Who is gospel slash self development, honestly? Mpumi Ledwaba. Ah, oh, Mpumi. Don't you I wish to get married him. like that? Have yeah, kids like that? They have such a beautiful union. Right? You wish for that too, yeah? Someday. Dude, do you have a time frame like I would love by God's grace and by God's spirit to be married at this time? I used to. Uh huh. But not anymore. What what did you use what did it used to be? Uh 25? I wanted to get married at 25. So you did? <laughs> What? I've been making my cocky. <laughs> I bet, bet. I know how old you are now. Are you sure you do? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I mean, <laughs> so now not anymore. You just no. like, you know, God, God's time. Whenever is it happens, it happens. But this person that you have, is there like a future that leads to marriage? I didn't say there's anyone. Yeah? Yeah. But if you're with someone now, hypothetically, do you think you would want to be married to them? All things being equal, they are great, you know, they can provide for your life. Yeah. 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 But I don't think I go into a relationship thinking. Marriage, marriage, marriage. right. Yeah. It's just have fun and see where it goes. The one thing that was a great gesture of love to you by a person you said you love, you felt you love, and you're in a relationship with, what was it? A great gesture. Yeah. I think there's been a lot, eh? Just one. <laughs> we just need for the purposes here today, get the juicy juice. Um, taking me to my hospital appointments. Yeah. That's it. Is there anything else? That will pass for a great gesture. Why? I really want to, I want to pick on this. Why? Because for me, that it meant a lot. Okay. It meant a lot. Um, there was a period where I'd have to see a doctor or I'd be in hospital. Right. And it's not anyone and everyone that would sit by your side. Okay. And, you know, be there for you and with ah. you. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Love that. So, yeah, it's it's caring. It's, it's time. Mm. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. Dude, you're so deep. I think. <laughs> or not. It's just like, <laughs> all right, so let's finish this up. Our time is actually up and I'm so mad at you, by the way. Really am. Never have I ever dated someone younger than me. No. Never. Never have I ever given someone a fake number. I have. You have? Yeah. What's up with that? <sighs> TK men are just... Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> some men, right? Some, yeah. Let me say some men are right. just very difficult to deal with. Some men don't understand what no is. Oh, yeah, and in yeah, most yeah. cases, we have to protect ourselves. So I think in that situation, that was the best thing. Right. Yeah. I feel you. Never have I ever broken up with someone over a text. Uh -huh. Girl, you are ice cold or Marion. Bad. Wow. 
So you snooping through people's phones, you breaking up with them over a text. This the kind of girl you are? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> was it LKC? No. Okay. It was out. Yeah. Uh, why didn't you have a conversation with this person in person? Hmm. Um, I don't know. Yeah. But looking back and thinking about it, the best thing to do would have been to have had that conversation face to face. Right. Yeah. Shame, man. Because I'm thinking if I ever was to do that is to avoid, um, to avoid feeling like I'm hurting someone and seeing it in their face. You yeah. Yeah. I think that's the kind of person I am. If I ever had to do it that way, yeah, it would just be to avoid pain because I'm. I, I've noticed I'm that kind of guy, you know. I, but it's cowardly. It's cowardice right, to do that because then, yeah, you don't resolve anything by doing that. Yeah, it's 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 not a nice thing to do. Yeah, tell me about God. We're wrapping up. This is the final conversation. Tell me about God. Tell mm -hmm. me about this faith journey that you're on. Well. I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. Grew up Christian. Shout out, shout out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would go to church every Sunday. I think oh, without nice. fail. But I still am. I go to church. Not every Sunday, but when I can. Right, right. And yeah, I just love the personal relationship that I have with God. Favorite scripture of the Bible? Favorite scripture. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nothing's coming up. <laughs> I know I have a fave. Yeah. But I don't, I wouldn't really say I know them like that. No, yeah. You, I mean, there's knowing yeah. them and then being able to quote them as, as they are, right? Yeah. It's, it's a two different things right there. But where do you guys go to church, you and your family? CRC. CRC. Yeah. Uh, Block 3 Industrial? Yeah. No, no. They actually moved. They moved to Tlokwing. Oh yeah, CRC moved to Tlokwen. It's with the white dude. What's his name? The pastor. TK. I don't always go to church. Well, oh. there's, there's that one that I go to and there's another one that I go to. Okay. Which I won't say, but yeah. All right. But is that is it even important to you? Like this, this thing called faith and believing. Is it even important to you? Yeah. Like how important? Why is it important at all? It, it grounds me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. When I asked you before we started the episode, right? I wanted to find out. I know why I invited you here. Okay. Right? But you remember I asked you, like, what do you hope to gain from this episode? And you had said to grow my brand. Yeah. Um, do you think we have achieved that? Do you think the people that are seeing this now are happy with your brand and could support it? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'd love for that to happen. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> what do you get up to? It's a weekend tomorrow. What's the plan? Um, I'm attending a friend's birthday celebration. Uh-huh. Yeah. And that's it. Sunday, I'll probably be home. Yeah. Chilling. Probably go to church and then get home and just relax. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. And for your last words, whatever you want to put out there, maybe you're promoting a brand. Maybe mm -hmm. your, but I will send an invoice if you do that. Sure. Uh, but yeah, your last words to B Dub, to Africa, mm -hmm. to the rest of the world. Okay. Um, please go follow, like um, MK Beauty on all social media platforms. Check out Tasha's Tresses. They sell wigs, they in store, and all of that. And what do I have to say to. Everything yeah. I'm, <laughs> well, start with I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, I don't know. What am I supposed to say? What? Anything. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah. Please support my brand. Um, follow and just be on the lookout because there is amazing content coming up this year. There we go. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate thank you. you for stopping by the GS2.0. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. We're moving right along. The road to 50K is what's happening right now. 
we are really, really trying to get to 50K before the end of the year, okay? And we can only do that if you share, if you like, if you tell a friend to tell a friend about the Juice 2.0. But for this episode, thank you so much for your time. Going out to all my sponsors is a big shout out. Loop Plus, you guys are amazing. Expert Express, you guys are amazing. And where we're sitting here, right, where we're sitting here right now, APJ um, Icon Barbershop. And come out over here and check out my boy Seth Fella when you need a haircut because he will lace you all those lines real nice. Big shout out going out to all of y'all and do this thing for me. Just one thing if you can. Stay juicy. Peace. What's going on YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.